at around 1.15 a.m. on Friday, July 15, 2022, the sound of gunfire pierced the Concord, North Carolina community. Officers responded to the Southern Chase subdivision off Zion Church Road, and while en route, they found a vehicle on Old Charlotte Road Southwest with a fatally wounded teen. The car had reportedly left the area of the shooting. Unfortunately, 17-year-old Kamarian KD or Mari Degree, a student and former football player at Bessemer City High School, was pronounced dead at the scene. Other people inside the car told Concord police that there was a shootout with another group after an argument escalated to a fight on Pullman Street Southwest. Following a preliminary investigation, two suspects were identified. One of the suspects at the time, 24-year-old Paris Chandler Johnson, was arrested on June 18th and charged with murder. Warrants for murder were issued for 18-year-old witness Shailene Haynes. Court records showed that Paris was jailed on the $1 million bond after allegedly shooting into a home in late 2019. Gastonia police investigators said the then 22-year-old shot into a home at 724 North Chestnut Street with a 9mm firearm in an attempt to kill two people a 16-year-old boy, and an 18-year-old man. Several people were in the home at the time of the shooting, which occurred around 8.40 p.m. Johnson was booked into Gaston County Jail two other times in the 12 months prior to that arrest. In November 2018, Johnson faced charges of misdemeanor marijuana possession and misdemeanor marijuana paraphernalia possession. In June that same year, he faced misdemeanor marijuana and a concealed carry charge in addition to two other misdemeanors. No records were found regarding the outcomes of the two previous cases against Johnson. However, it was noted that he bonded out of jail in just a few hours in both cases. In February 2022, he was arrested on a felony failure to appear charge and released on a secured bond of $15,000. And he was again arrested in April 2022 on a felony failure to appear charge and released on a secured bond of $30,000. Two days after the senseless murder, Kamarian's family sat to speak with media sources. No one who was in the car with Kamarian faced a charge, according to the family. At this time, Concord police investigators have only said that there was an exchange of gunfire between people in two vehicles and an investigation is ongoing. While speaking to the media, Kamarian's family was emphatic that the 17-year-old was not involved in any sort of trouble and that someone else in the vehicle that he was riding in was defending themselves from attackers when they pulled the trigger. His mother shared that her son just happened to be in the car and they had gone to Concord to convince a cousin to come away from what they referred to as a dangerous situation. Kamarian's brother, 15-year-old Kentrell Degree, was also in the car when Kamarian was shot. When Kentrell heard the gunfire, he turned around to Kamarian, who was sitting behind him, and that's when he realized that his brother had been wounded. He told the media that it happened too fast, and he wished they would have just stayed at home. Kamarian didn't start out interested in football, according to his father, Kenyon Degree. As a child, he was drawn to video games, however, around the age of eight, he began playing and loved it too. His father went on to tell the media that Katie was very talented, including in music, basketball, and track. Kamarian's family also told media sources that they don't want him to be remembered for the way that he died. Instead, they prefer that his legacy be about the way that he lived. According to his father, the 17-year-old had worked hard to become eligible to play high school football this year as a senior after playing in his freshman year, and he was particularly looking forward to it because he would be playing with his brother, Kendrell. 
the heartbroken father, asks that the 18-year-old who was charged in his son's shooting be turned into police and made it very clear that he was not in favor of street justice as Kamarian also would not have wanted that. The young man's family and community members held up a loan release in the 17-year-old's honor at Martha's River in Gastonia. His family felt the support of the community immensely and were appreciative of such. A celebration of the life of Kamarian Degree was held on August 1st, 2022 at Center Baptist Church. Due to the circumstances, his family elected to have a closed casket funeral. A few days prior, on June 24th, Witness Haynes was arrested in a Rock Hill hotel. Cabarrus County Jail records showed that Haynes was denied bond and awaiting trial on a murder charge and a felony probation violation charge, respectively. A review of court records showed that he was arrested in October 2020 in connection with a felony failure to appear charge. He was placed on probation and released in December 2020. A GoFundMe to assist Kamarian's family with funeral and burial costs was organized and as of this video had raised $2,280. The link will be in the description below. I will be following the outcome of this case and truly hope that this family and community receive justice. May the family and friends of Kamarian degree Find solace in the happy memories and may his soul rest in perpetual peace. Thank you.